Aspenair. I'm out in winter wonderland on a little hike. It's cold and windy, and, but it's nice in the snow. We are around minus two degrees, not extremely cold, but cold. And it's a lot of snow. It's really, really nice. Uh, the colors aren't popping today, but uh, it's nice. It's all white. That's the way it is. I'm shooting now on my action too. I'm just gonna go a little hike on a trail here. Really nice trail. Uh, I'm not gonna go too far, but we're gonna shoot a little bit and see how the action 2 is doing. I'm still really happy with this camera. Actually, I like the colors. Still got some issues with it, but no big ones. I'm shooting in standard D warp in 4K. Uh, I was out testing it the other day and shot in wide and ultra wide, and I think it looks pretty good. I actually like the wide and ultra wide. It's a little bit warping, but that's the way it is. But it's nice today, it's cold. And it's so nice to see the snow on the trees and all of that. That's beautiful. Just good to be outside. Sitting all day inside in home office, it's actually <laughs> quite boring. Uh, that's the way it is. I'm lucky that I have a job and can work from home. Uh, when I want to and I don't see any point of sitting in the office right now with everything that's happening all over the world so we're just gonna walk a little trail and see how it is seems like a lot of people have been walking here because it's not so deep snow and that's great and you get that winter wonderland feeling when you're walking trails like this, when you see all the snow and everything. It's beautiful. Really is nice. So how is the colors and everything on the action to you. I was shooting the other day in this inner like and I actually didn't like that profile. It's pretty hard to grade and I'm gonna stick to the normal color profile. That looks pretty good. I still have some issues with this camera with some flickering in the image but I'm pretty sure that DJI can figure that out in the firmware upgrade update. I hope they do. They usually do that. They are pretty good in updates. There are a lot of uh, fighting between the Action 2 and the Hero 10 in uh, all kinds of tests. And some of the tests are just quite silly to watch. People are only making clickbait videos just to get some views and that's really annoying but I don't wa watch those channels at all because I know what they are making always the same shit all the time so as long as it doesn't snow I'm planning to take up my pocket 2 and see how that compare to the action 2 I'm not gonna do any side by side but always nice to walk in winter wonderland like this and see how the cameras perform between each other I'm just gonna follow the trail where people have walked so I don't get lost quite difficult actually to to uh, quite easy to get lost when it's so much snow if you don't follow the trail so remember that when you're out hiking a place you've never been before try to stick to the trails and don't do anything stupid 
yeah where I live there are no dangerous animals in the woods like bears and stuff like that then you have to get further north in Norway but it's quite nice to see and the film uh, the camera is still recording some people are telling that they have some issues with the camera not performing so good in low temperatures uh, to get a warning I haven't seen that yet I'm using the small rig cage on this camera yeah, it's been work pretty good people has of course complained about that too but that's normal they always do so I think we're gonna change to the pocket 2 now and walk a little bit further so let's do that okay guys we're switched to the pocket 2 so what do you think about the image quality I'm shooting a normal color profile exactly the same setting white balance set to 5500 EV comp is dropped down to 0 0.3 uh, minus 0 0.3 and I'm walking in winter wonderland I'm using the face tracking it's a little bit jumpy so sorry for that but the most important thing is to see how the image quality is a lot of people actually uh, like the pocket 2 and think this camera is much better than uh, the action 2 or the image quality is much better I'm not quite sure I think the image quality is quite similar I actually do yeah you know on uh, the action 2 and the pocket 2 you have exactly the same uh, sensor so uh, it should match pretty good uh, uh, the image quality I think the reason why is such a big difference between them is because of the wide angle lens on the, the action 2 because it's uh, cropping in quite a lot when you're using the warp and when you're using the wide angle lens it's uh, actually using the whole sensor but the image is warping a little bit so that can be the reason why I'm not 100% sure but I enjoy both of these cameras as you all know the Action uh, Pocket 2 isn't waterproof at all uh, the Action 2 is but only the camera module and uh, the Action 2 is a more durable camera uh, for sure it's metal or aluminium and the Pocket 2 is plastic fantastic but I still think that the pocket camera is one of the best gear that DJI ever made uh, so it's quite nice this was a nice trail let me flip the camera I think we're going into some low light so let's flip it and walk this way yeah I'm using the wide angle lens just because I want a wider angle <laughs> that's the reason why I'm going into some trees and some low light here so maybe we can see how the camera perform that's always nice to do I'm not gonna go too far because this is a trail I never walked before so I have to be aware of where I'm going and I have to see the clock and all that let's see I think we're going this way so how are the camera performing in low light is it poor or is it good One big advance of the Pocket 2 is of course the mechanical gimbal that you don't have on the Action 2 and the Hero 10. That's only electronic so you don't suffer that much with stabilization in uh, low light. 
Yeah, seems like we are on the right track, but I'm not gonna walk too far. But this is quite beautiful, huh? As you can see. Okay, face tracking is on. Let's walk a little bit further. Yeah, so I'm. Uh, I really want to hear your comment on the image quality and uh, how everything is looking. I think we're going to walk into the woods again so we can see how everything looks in low light. What I really like about the DJI product is actually the color profile. But I still think that the Action 2 has better color science and the Pocket 2 and the Hero 10. The Hero 10, I don't like the colors on that one. Some people are saying it's really, really good, but I think the colors are a little bit too, uh, too uh, contrasty and looks a little bit strange. Oops. So, uh, I'm gonna, this way. So, is the face tracking working now in low light? But, yeah. So, you tell me which camera that are looking the best. That's uh, up to you to say. I like them both the Action 2 and the Pocket 2. Let me. Flip the fucking... Okay. So, let's walk this way. I think we are on the right path. But of course the image quality is extremely important when you're using cameras like this. And what I've seen with other creators the Pocket 2 seems to have a little bit of an advantage in the image quality. Not much at all, but some. So I think I'm going to take off my Action 2. Maybe we can do a quick side by side. Maybe it's important to see how they perform in conditions like this. So let's take up our good old, not good old, good new uh, action too. Okay guys, we now switch uh, to both cameras side by side, uh, the Action 2 and uh, the Pocket 2. Uh, two cameras that are in many ways like but also pretty different. Uh, the Action 2 is much more of an action camera than the Pocket 2 is. The Pocket 2 is an excellent travel camera uh, and are in many ways. And of course it's much much newer, it's slippery like hell. But we're going in and out of low light, so how are the cameras performing? I'm shooting a standard D-warp on the Action 2 and using the wide angle lens on the Pocket 2. And you can also hear how the audio is on both of these cameras. These settings are these filming in snow. I don't know if it's, if it's easy to spot the difference between them. But especially look at the color science. Should be more or less the same. Maybe you can see a little bit more details on the Pocket 2. But like I said, I think the main reason for that is because of the crop you have on the Action 2. And you don't have the crop on the Pocket 2, because 
it uses the whole sensor. And the sensors on the Pocket 2 and the Action 2 is actually much larger than the GoPro Hero 10. And actually I'm using these two cameras more than I'm using the Hero 10. I know that a lot of people don't agree with me, but I still think these two cameras are better. So let me flip them around so you can see how everything looks <laughs> in my face. Let's do that. Okay guys, now you can see if you can spot the difference. We are filming a normal color profile on both camera. Uh, I'm using the dual screen combo on the Action 2 and using face tracking with the wide angle lens on the Pocket 2. Uh, and I know that it's much wider field of view on uh, the Action 2 than there is on the Pocket 2. But still, the field of view should be pretty good on uh, the Pocket 2 also. So, uh, these are two great and fun cameras to use. And so nice to be outside. I get Christmas feeling when I'm walking around in, uh, in the snow like this. Uh, it's not that easy to watch on the screen on these two cameras because I have to see where I'm walking because of the snow. So I don't fall and destroy the, these two cameras. But this is always fun, isn't it? Yeah, so we finally got winter here on Oske, just outside of Bergen. And the population on the island where I live is 25,000, around that. Uh, so quite small community. I live on, on Hatlevik. We are around 1,100 people there. Quite small community, but a nice place to, to live. I've been living there for 15 years now. I'm from Bergen, so I was growing up in the city, and now I live on an island, beautiful island, and it's only 15 minutes to drive to Bergen from Oske, so it's not far at all. So uh, yeah, so what do you guys think? But the image quality between these two cameras seems to be much more brighter on the Pocket 2 than on the Action 2. But yeah, I don't know. Just have to wait and see how the image looks. But the battery life on the Pocket 2 is really, really good. And it's cold outside. I'm freezing on my hands. So I think we're going to take the rest of the filming on the Action 2. But Leave a comment down below which camera you prefer. Uh, I think most people will say Pocket 2, but actually I like the Action 2. It's quite different cameras in my opinion, used for different things. The Pocket 2 is a perfect travel holiday camera and the Action 2 is perfect for action. You have the camera module that are waterproof and you have the dual screen combo where you can use it as a vlogging selfie camera but what I really like about the Action 2 is that the field of view is so big that as long as you point the camera to you you're in frame so yeah let's switch now for the rest of the video to the Action 2 thanks for watching bye bye yeah guys we are at the end of the trail so I've been out shooting with my Pocket 2 and my Action 2, just fun to compare these two, cam two cameras that are in many ways pretty similar, also very different. Uh, it's going to be fun to see how the image quality is between them. I'm pretty sure that the edge on the image quality will go to the Pocket 2, but I still think that the Action 2 is a pretty good camera. 
I like it and I haven't had any issues of overheating with this camera at all. Of course I live in a totally different climate than many other people are but still I don't think most people will have any problems with overheating. You normally shoot in short bursts. I usually never shoot longer clips than five minutes at a time. Of course if you're doing any extreme sport and want to shoot for longer periods of time maybe this camera isn't for you uh, maybe you should use another camera but you still have some issues with the gopro camera too i have the hero 10 and i love it it's a great camera but i still think that the colors are way better on the action 2 and colors are extremely important the only thing that are better on GoPro Hero 10, of course there are many, probably a few things uh, you can shoot in higher resolutions, but I don't think you get that much more details. You have linear mode, what I really like on the GoPro, and uh, the flat color profile actually is better than this in like. I don't know why, but it's actually more difficult to grade uh, the decent light profile but uh, I'm gonna shoot much more I'm gonna shoot much more <laughs> but uh, uh, when the spring and summer comes to Norway, Norway I'm gonna do much more comparison between those two cameras because the lighting condition is then uh, much better and it's easier to compare them though them. and you can see when you have good lighting conditions with action camera then you can really see the difference but uh, if you've seen some of my videos and other videos with the action 2 and the hero 10 i'm pretty sure you can see a massive difference in the color science between them and i know that many people really enjoy the gopro footage but most of the videos you see on youtube is filmed in different location than this with much better lighting conditions and uh, I still think that the Action 2 has way better colors and I also think that the stabilization on the Action 2 is as good as the Hero 10 and remember I have both camera bought them for my own money so I can say whatever I want I'm not a clickbait guy like many of the others on YouTube that are probably getting a lot of gear for free and are selling what they have and lying a lot so uh, yeah so guys thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video and leave a comment down below and of course subscribe to my channel Aspen J Travel, that's my name, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.